Ladies and gentlemen, good afternoon to all of you. Thank you for being here. My name is Justin, and I'm a director at Point Star Private Limited. We're a Google services team, and uh, we have a team of 22 ready to help our clients take advantage of the latest Google services. So we work with analytics, we work with AdWords, we also work with Google Apps, and provide email services to our clients. Uh, today's case study, I'll be sharing uh, with you a website that is yet to be launched, uh, but it's going to be something which is pretty interesting. Um, so let me move on to the agenda. Oops. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's how short I can be when it comes to uh, doing a fast presentation. OK. The client that uh, we work with is called PT Metranet. Uh, it's based in Jakarta, Indonesia. And they own a website called plaza.com. So um, PT Metronet is a subsidiary of Telkom Indonesia, which is the largest telco in Indonesia. So with over 125 million subscribers, uh, it is really uh, one of the largest companies in Indonesia. And they've been running plaza.com since 1996. Um, as a website, uh, it was actually uh, starting to look a little bit dated. So they started to uh, form a team to revamp the website. So today's agenda, I'll be covering the challenges that Plaza.com face, the kinds of analysis that we did for the client, um, what kind of insights we got from um, Google Analytics with relation to mobile analytics, and what our team and Metronet learned, as well as the key takeaways um, from our case study. So we are an analytics authorized consultant. We took our client through our process of analyzing the website and understanding how they can better improve um, their website, um, basically the, the, the goals for their website by understanding the data that comes out from it. So Plaza is a website that was ranked 132 on Lexa.com uh, in, in Indonesia. So I wouldn't say it's some, a, a website that is very popular, but being in the top 200, uh, it was a website that was receiving a lot of uh, traffic from Indonesians. So the aim of the project uh, that the client had was to revamp Plaza into an e-commerce website that would serve Indonesia and beyond. So let me show you some screenshots of how it looks like. If you look on the left, that's how it looks like. A little bit old school in design. Um, it has a navigation menu on the left, which has a bunch of services. And after we completed our project, this is the uh, revamp that will be launched pretty soon. So we first dug into all the features of this website. You know, we wanted to understand why, what were the features which uh, were worth keeping. So we look into this website, it had a lot of uh, services available. It was a portal that had email services, there was a forum on it, you have movie reviews, so all kinds, a, 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 a big hodgepodge of services there. So to a lot of um, people, this was considered a pretty haphazard um, website. And you, it was made up of a lot of uh, open source tools, so it was quite a nightmare to, uh, to, to manage technically. But the amazing thing about this website was that it had over 11 million visitors on an annual basis. So that's quite interesting. Despite being, uh, you know, not having the latest Web 2.0 features, not having like social networking features, it was still drawing quite a lot of people to, to its website. So our challenge as a team was to go in, drill deep into the data, and identify the consumer patterns. We needed to answer to the client what kind of users to retain. We also needed to tell them what kind of features to retain. As you can see, these were some of the services that was available on the website, and it's all kinds. They even have their own instant messaging service. So the key issue here was to look at some of the visits that came in. Uh, this is a pretty stunning graph if you look at it, because for the, for the first row, uh, zero to 10 seconds, you can see that you've got a huge amount of traffic. 68.93% of visitors stayed for only zero to 10 seconds. 
our interpretation here was that the bounce rate was too high. The website, you know, the homepage was just not retaining uh, the interest of visitors sufficiently. So what we wanted, what we proposed to the client was to focus their efforts on a core group of users. This core group, as you can see, could be spending between 181 to 600 seconds on the website. And this actually made up at least a million visitors a year. So we, 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 we recommended the client to focus on serving these clients rather than serving all the clients that visit the website. Another result that we saw from the analytics data was that only 8.13% of the traffic came from search engines. This is actually quite uh, dismal if you were to be running an e-commerce website. We showed them data such as Amazon.com, where you had more than 20% of the visitors coming from search engines like Google and Yahoo. So our recommendation was that they put in place a good search engine optimization strategy to ensure that the entire website, the structure, the content, the HTML pages were all properly optimized. So this is what the team has begun doing so that they will be able to realize the value out of being an e-commerce website. Another interesting result that we saw from the data was that despite Indonesia being a huge market and you know, it's one of the fastest markets for smartphone growth, um, devices like BlackBerry has basically taken over the market. You know, if, you, if you go to Jakarta, you just see everyone using Blackberries. But if you look at the data that, that's coming in from the website, you don't even see Blackberry on it. So you, you know, on number four, you have Oprah Mini. So you have a lot of uh, users um, who may be forsaken. So only 2% of the visitors are actually coming from the mobile market. And we felt that there was a big opportunity that was being missed out here. So we recommended to Plaza to focus on not just building a web-based version of their e-commerce website, but also to, fo to build a smartphone version. This way, they can access a market which is poised to grow into millions. And uh, being in the Indonesian market, you'll find that just what everybody is saving up to buy a, a smartphone, and I think this will be a very good move for them. Um, also, being a, tel uh, a, client, uh, a subsidiary of Telcom Group, they were very happy to hear that you know, if they could have a mobile version, it would really drive up the data services revenue. We also showed them that um, a new feature that the Google Analytics team developed recently. So this was a tool which allowed uh, webmasters to track uh, visits coming from mobile phones. So as you know, if you were to be placing a uh, Google Analytics on your main website, uh, you'll be, you need to use JavaScript. That's a problem when it comes to uh, mobile phones because the browsers may not have enough RAM or processing capability to handle JavaScript. So by having the latest uh, version of Google Analytics and implementing uh, the server-side Google Analytics tracking tool, the team did not have to look for yet another analytics tracking tool. They could use all the data from one place and um, basically analyze everything all from one place. So the team was very happy to know that they didn't have to switch to use another tool. Our company also worked with them to develop their mobile version of their website. So this was a web-based mobile version. We tested it to run on, uh, across over 1,000 smartphone models. In fact, it actually can degrade to run on even um, Nokia S40, very, very old kind of phones. So this is a mobile version which has the cap all the full capabilities of the, the, the main browser-based website. You can go there to look for featured products, hot products. You can find uh, friends, add friends to your social network. So all the features that you would normally find from browsing a website, you can do it on the mobile phone. So what are some of the lessons that we've learned from this experience? 
Lesson one is to watch out for the high bounce rates. Not all your traffic is relevant, so focus your analysis only on the visitors who stay. Also, zoom in on your most loyal users. You have to derive insights based on what your most loyal users are doing. So don't look at that 70% which just bounce off and you know, just go away. Focus on those guys who stay the longest, drill into what are they doing on the website, and build features that would appeal to them and keep them on the website. Lastly, do not ignore the mobile market. In today's world, it's no longer enough to build web-based versions of your website. Do consider the mobile phone and design use your user interface specifically for them. I'd like to leave you with a little takeaway. If you look at this graph, it shows the intensity of mobile usage in Southeast Asia. And as you can see, in some of the countries such as Indonesia, even Vietnam and Malaysia, smartphone growth is actually uh, coming out very quickly. So the takeaway here is next time you're you are working on developing a website, don't forget uh, mobile phone users. Thank you so much.